Hi. Um, I want to share with you um, a very useful way to exclude placements inside of Pmax campaign today. So <clears throat> as we all know, it's not so easy to optimize perform maximize campaigns because of how it's been set up by Google. So we know it's like a black box where you don't necessarily see in very clear terms how your placements are performing. However, that makes it difficult for you to optimize your campaign, right? But there are new methods or new features that are coming out with Pmax that you can use to optimize your campaign. And a very good one is exclusions. So if you do not know for certain how your placements are performing, and you know there are certain placements that you believe your target audience is not sh should not be on, you can exclude some of these placements, right? And as you can see on my screen right now, I'm going to quickly share this with you. This is a Perfect Max campaign, right? And we've actually excluded a couple of placements from this campaign, and I will show you how to do that in just a moment. So display campaigns, for example, you could see ads showing up inside of apps, right? So maybe mobile games or certain apps that your target audience are probably not using. You can actually exclude placements like this inside of your Pmax campaign. All you just need to do is go into your ad account, come to the campaign that you want to exclude from, go to content on that product that you have here, click into that, and you'd have this um, tab showing up. Now, all you need to do to exclude this placement is to click the plus um, or the pencil button over there and you have this show up and you can then, just like we've done here, you can exclude all of these apps in their categories, right? So this is how you do this. Scroll down up to app categories and you can have obviously just two um, stores, so the App Store and the Google Play Store. And you can then click any of them, or maybe both of them actually, and then start doing the exclusion from there. So as you can see, we've excluded all of these categories for apps that we believe um, our target audience are not really using, or will not be, um, it will not make sense to target people from these placements, right? So these are all of those categories that we've excluded. Same for the Google Play Store as well. We've excluded all of these app categories because it's usually a waste of money to um, serve ads on this placement, right? So we've done this for both um, categories. And as you can see on the right-hand side, there's different, about 140 that we've excluded from this campaign, right? Now, for you to measure the impact of this um, exclusion, right? All you need to do for you to be sure is go into reports, click predefined reports over here, click other, and then click on Pmax campaigns placement. Let's wait for a second, right? So usually you would see that, for example, you can see mobile app is having this amount of impressions, right? And you can also see that there's a lot of uh, mobile app placements getting impressions, mobile app, mobile app getting impressions, mobile app, mobile app, mobile app, right? Now, for you to be sure that this works after you've done the exclusion, all you need to just do is come back probably a week or two weeks after you've done the exclusion and then see if there are any other mobile app uh, placements still getting impressions. If they are, you probably need to go check the exclusions and see if you've missed anyone. But ideally, you should not see any of the mobile app categories have impressions anymore inside of this campaign, mostly Pmax, as we've shown here in the tab report. All right. I hope that this helps. And I do believe that Google is coming out with more ways to optimize Pmax campaigns, you know, just in order to give them more power to use the automation to help improve campaigns. And I do believe they're coming out with more um, ways to optimize Pmax campaigns. I hope this has been helpful and I would love to hear if anyone tries this out and how it's working out for them. Thank you.